from the secret palaces of the Orient, from the modern masters of Hollywood, comes the most charismatic, most exciting, most reality-altering talk show in town. It's Marcus the Interviewer. Marcus the Interviewer. It's not just a talk show. It's psychological entrapment. They'll never see it coming. And they'll never know what hit them. One show and the audience is yours forever. Join the masses and applaud, laugh, cheer, and yell his name. Marcus gets you in the mood. He brings out the person inside of you. He brings out your energy. He charms. He gestures. He enchants. He acts. He's a charisma, and around him, you feel like one too. Remember, if you don't use him, then someone else will. Act now while there's still time. Come in and tell your story. Come in and promote your brand. Come in and set the world on fire, if that's what you desire. For Marcus is the guy who's got you covered. Legends are born, not made. Stars, celebrities, and legends are made here at Marcus the Interviewer. You come in a civilian and leave a superstar because that's just what Marcus does. Watch Marcus on weeknights with the hottest commodities and superstars in town and join in on the fun after work. Sit back, relax, and let Marcus do his thing. Come be a guest on the hottest, most talked about, culture-driven show, Marcus the Interviewer, where stars are made and legends and icons are celebrated every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Allow your favorite brother and friend to take your brand to the masses. Marcus the Interviewer is ready to tell your story. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope that you had an amazing, amazing Friday. Okay, so my Friday was like amazing, you know what I mean? But it got really tipped off because I get to interview this amazing icon that I'm about to interview in a few minutes. So, people, you already know what it is. I hope your Friday was so dope. But you already know what? You know I can't do nothing without my theme music! Hey, yo. What's up, B? Hey, yo. yo, this is the What's one, up, bro. Oh, yo, yeah. this is the What's one, good? bro. Oh, hey, yeah. Tell me, man, What's good? That, that cat Marcus Boyd, you know, the interview. Yeah, I know that cat. Boy, yeah. no, this is the one, bro. Yeah, okay. This is the one, bro. Okay, this is the one, bro. Okay, this is the one, bro. Okay, this is the one, bro. No matter the conversation, he's already on the panty. No matter the conversation, he's already on the panty. 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 He's Listen, Marcus, the interview of family. I got to take my head off. You know, I really don't take my head off all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I got to take my head off because I'm telling you, you know what I mean? This guest is so iconic. This guest is so legendary. He's by Coastal. Not only is he by Coastal, this guy has multiple properties in multiple states. He's like, he's like a walking monopoly board. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, this guy is not only a phenomenal rapper, 
This guy is not only a phenomenal songwriter. This guy is not only a phenomenal radio personality, an interviewer, a host, a, a lezon, an entrepreneur, a, <laughs> a community leader. This guy is a legend, an icon, and I have to have the legend himself, Benji the Ruler, up in my place, right here on Mark is the Interviewer Show. Let's go, go Benji! Go, baby. What's up, Mr. Marky Boy? It's an honor to have you talk to the Marcus Interviewer Show family from your family. So let's let's just get it right into it. Yeah, let's we want to get yeah, personal right here on Mark's The Interview Show. So oh, let's go to the childhood. How did it get started with you, the childhood, the upbringing? Talk to us, family. Um, um, elementary, elementary school. Elementary, um, elementary school. Um, I started. Um, I started. I really started like, school in church. I really started school in church. And it's a lot of feedback. And it's a lot of feedback going on. So I'm not sure if that's on my end. It's a feedback. I'm not sure if that's on my end or on your end. But it's cool. Well, um, it might be on my cool. um, But it's cool. Yeah. I started in church, yes. singing in church. I started in church, singing in church. Really young. Really young. Um, and then from there, um, then elementary from there, school, elementary I started school. writing poems. I started writing I used to poems. A lot. I used to join so a lot. That kind of started so my, my writing journey. That kind of started my, my life. Life. writing journey. I literally had a diary. I had a diary. I had a diary. I had a diary. I had a diary. And I started playing electric bass. I started string playing bass, electric bass, string, string bass, orchestra. First, orchestra. And, um, and my mom um, sent me to my mom the state of New York. To the state of New York. At the age of and I started and I playing playing for the Frank Sinatra School of Arts in Long Island, New York. I had the audition to get into the school. I had the audition to get into the school. Um, school. Um, there were two hundred um, students who were selected. Thank you very much. We were selected. We were selected as the first graduating class of Frank Sinatra School of Arts in New York. Time out. We got to go to play. I'm there. Time out. Play on the play. This family. Did you hear what this man just said? Go ahead and say it again, Legend. Um, I, I, I um, really started I, out. I, I really started out. Elementary school. Um, reading um, sheet music, writing sheet music, playing music, music, writing sheet music, music playing a string bass. Um, and my mom um, moved me to New York. My mom moved me to New York. And I was selected to be a class. I was selected to be a class. In Long Island in college, uh, in college. Uh, so that's pretty campus. much how it started. Well, that's you know what? That's how it started with writing. That's incredible. So we gotta drop a bomb on that one. Um, I'm just just so like, is that how you got into music by playing yeah. all the different instruments? Yeah, yeah, like um, yeah, like I, um, I actually started I playing. Know, about I actually started playing. About and my, and orchestra and teacher, my orchestra you know, teacher. My orchestra teacher. Why don't you play the bass? I don't why have. Why a don't bass you play the bass? bass? I don't have a bass. Okay, I'm looking at her like I can't play the violin. I'm looking at her like I can't play the violin. You know the straight bases. Straight bases. No, it's heavy. No, it's heavy. I guess she's you seen know, something in me that I, I probably seen something in me that I probably just saw myself. So I just heard it. And I 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 did a lot of writing. I did a lot of writing. I just started realizing that. I just started realizing that we were just calm. We're just calm, and people just added a hook to it. People just added a hook to it. It just kind of weird. It just kind of weird. So, so, like, talk to me about you know because you are international, you know, businessman and. 
um, the whole world knows you and stuff of that nature. So talk to us about the beginning before it was Benji the Ruler. Talk to us about Michael. Michael is a geek. Michael, Michael is, a is, geek. is a nerd. Michael is a nerd. Michael is a uh, college kid. Uh, Michael college is a kid. genius. Michael is a genius. Um, he is a uh, um, uh, GPA scholar. scholar. Top five of the class. Five of the class. Student body president. Elementary president. Elementary school. Uh, editor in chief. Uh, editor in chief. Uh, news editor. Uh, so before the so rapper, before the rapper, and I just think and once I got to I just college, think once I got to college, and I got a taste of like the world, and I got a taste of like the world, started kind of getting boring to me. The books started kind of getting boring to me. Um, so honestly, I started um, losing attention. So honestly, I started losing when it came attention. To, like certain academics. When it came to when like certain academics. Research, I realized that I a lot of doing stuff, my own research. I realized that a lot of the stuff that we were and a lot of stuff that we were learning. We really didn't need to learn. We really didn't need to fail in life. So, in life. so I got kicked out of college. And then I got kicked out of college. I just continued and to then, pursue there. I just read music, music, radio, and mass communication. My I major in college was mass radio communication. And mass communication. My major in college was mass communication. Broadcasting. I've worked um, for about like four or five different radio platforms. I've worked for about like four or five different radio platforms. This is the that feels like this is the only guy that feels like so you can have all these have college degrees or you can have all these skills. Was you really know working is you, know, you, you really know something is for you. You consistently work to your own goals. You'll definitely align with them. So let's talk about the, the companies that you have worked for in the past or may be still affiliated with and talk about the radio stations. Um my first um my first, first platform that I started working for first platform that I started working for radio in Georgia. Honestly, and honestly, the way that came about, the way that came about, I was interviewed with Tampa Mystic, with Tampa Mystic, and she interviewed me like two or three times on her platform, two or three times on her platform. I just kind of had an interest with the whole how the radio with the whole how the radio brand. The way that they were supporting each other, I like the supporting each other. I like the fact that you could like the that be interviewed on the platform and then go shoot on the platform and then go shoot the video right in the next room, right next to it. So that's why I was very intrigued. So I was scrolling online and I was scrolling online and I noticed that. They had like a promo, like, yeah, like a promo you know, like, radio show or a you know, radio show or if you're a personality, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, meeting so with, uh, with, uh, and with uh, I went and I talked to him, I went and I talked to him. I think he really saw the vision and what I really saw the do. vision and what I was trying to do before we locked yeah. in. He before asked we locked in, he asked me, What was the name of my show? What was the name of my show? And then yeah. some just said the real and right. Some just said the real right. Like, that's it. Like, that's so it. the following week, so they, the made it, week they made it. They made it. They made it. They made a flyer. 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 They made I was like, on Sundays, nobody's going to be around. I was like, I was just doing it on Sundays. It was a hit. It was a hit. It was a hit. My shows started out averaging 150,000 listeners and viewers. So, I just kept it coming. I just kept it coming. That's so amazing. That's so amazing and life changing. I know you you had to be thanking God and you know thanking your team and 
and every and everything else. Now, talk to us because again, a lot of a lot of the family members don't know how incredible of a rapper you are, a songwriter you are. Um, you know, one of my favorite cuts by you is jugging and finessing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I mean, you're a lyrical beast. You're a lyrical monster. So, like, talk to us about the music. Um, the music honestly um, came. The music honestly came. Everything that I write is like everything that I write is like personal life experiences. Personal life experiences. I'm not one of those people who. I'm not like, one of those people yeah. who. Like I'm not gonna say I will. Like I I'm not gonna say I will. I wouldn't work with writer. Writer, writer comes to me and says, "Hey, let me write this song for you." Hey, let me write this song for you. I would be open to it. I would be open have to it, but it would have to be my lifestyle. I would have to be able to write it. I would have to be able to write it. Um, other than that, I'm writing all shit. Other than that, I'm writing all shit. Like I said, I've been writing for a long time. Like I said, I've been writing for a long time. So a lot of that writing. All my music is from shit that I actually live. That's pretty much it. All of my music is my life. So I know you're working on new music. I saw some really dope videos and visuals from you recently. So can... Can we expect new music from you, new videos? What can we expect on the music side? Well, I just dropped, well, I just four, dropped. Videos four videos back to back. Four videos back to back. I dropped um, two videos last year. I dropped two videos last year. This year I dropped two. I this just year I dropped I dropped two. I just I dropped. I dropped Swerve. I dropped. Swerve, and I dropped Chopper. And I dropped okay. Chopper. I just okay. shot my video, but they knew that though. My video, but they knew that though. Soon, I, just, I literally um, just talked to the editor of my video earlier today. I'll be dropping it very soon. I'll be dropping it very soon. I have one more video. I have one more video. I'll be dropping it. I'll be dropping it. Party Monster, and I was dropping that Party on Monster, Halloween. Party Monster, I was dropping that on but Halloween. That, um, but other than that, I'm probably going to start on my premiere album, 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 the top of next year. Wow. So what keeps you, like, what keeps you motivated to keep going on, to keep pushing? You don't seem to keep, you don't seem to stop. You keep adding new stuff on, new projects, new opportunities. So what keeps you motivated? Um, probably being, um, probably being solo, dolo, the majority of my dolo, life, dolo, and, the majority of my life and, and having like, and having like lightweight support, I'll say lightweight, lightweight support. support, I'll say lightweight support. And I'm not going to make it seem like I don't, I'm not going to make it seem, seem like I don't get support. support. I, don't I do have support, but I do have support, but I feel like I'm the only one. Who I kinda, feel like I'm the only one who kind of. You know, and I'm the only one you know, living it. And I'm the only one living it. You know, I receive those visions. I receive those visions and I receive the call, them. so I answer. The call, so and I answer. I'm just one of those people that I honor my position in life. I honor the knowledge that I've obtained. I honor the knowledge that I've obtained. I honor the Let's go back to your childhood, if we can, a little bit. Can you let my family know when you were only child? Did you have siblings? How was it? How was it for you growing up with your siblings? Um, and you know, where are you in your family dynamic currently? Right now, um, it's right now, six of um, us total. It's six uh, of us three boys and three girls. Total. I'm the uh, three boys and three girls. I have I'm a half brother. I have a half brother. 
Um, my father had my mother. My father had and my, my mother, mother and and pregnant at the same time. But that's how I obtained my I'm the youngest out of all six of us. I'm the youngest out of all six of us. So right now, we're all still very Right now, we're all still very close. Okay. Um, we've always been kind of close. We've always like, we been kind of close. We had our like, situations. We had our, we had our situations. Our little, we might have been separated. We might have been separated. We've always been kind of close. We've always been kind of close. We've always been very 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 you know, and you know, and we went through the system shit. We went you know, through the system shit. You know, 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 I don't believe that anything. I don't believe that anything like it. Police was like police was like. I really believe that. I really believe that. Do 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 when you found out that your dad was a kingpin, your mom's a queen pin, stuff of that nature, and they was getting it out the mud, doing whatever they had to do for the family, like did it affect you in any type of way, or how did you feel? Um, at the time, um, I didn't really feel. At shit the time, because, I didn't really feel born, shit because when I, step, was born, when I was born, when I was born, my dad. When I was born, my dad. I'm about to get around. I'm about to get around. All right, I had to, you know, all right, I had to give him the whole saying. thing. You feel me? Give him the whole thing. You feel me? So, um, so, um, where was we at? Where was we at? We were talking about how did you, how did you feel about, you know. When you found oh, out that your nothing, mom was a queen, oh, there was nothing. There was nothing to really feel. There was honestly, nothing to really feel. Honestly, when I was a child, when I was born, my my when father, was born, my, was my father, was so it was nothing yeah. that, like, I didn't really know what the so, fuck was going on. It was you know nothing that. I, like, like, I didn't I really like know what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling, oh, like, I know I used to have birds in your back room. My parents and I was feeling, oh, I didn't really know what was going on. So I didn't really know what was going on. So I didn't really know what was going on. So I didn't really know what was going on. So I didn't really know what was going on. But I think as I grew up, I saw but I think as I grew up, I saw the shift. I saw us being taken from our parents and I saw us being taken I had to be stubborn. 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 I had to you know, what I wanted to do is, you know, I wanted you to give, you know, I wanted to do a special tribute to your mom because, you know, I know she was massive in your life and I know she played an important major role in your life. And here on the Marcus, the interviewer show, we believe in giving flowers. We believe in giving roses. So we're going to give her her flowers. We're going to give her her roses and we're going to let you um, really um, talk about the woman that she was. Okay. Um, okay. My mom was a um, very powerful. My mom was a very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. She was very supportive. Um, like, I said, very supportive. Born, like I said, when I was born, 
in that like fed. Yeah, so she yeah, held it down. Like so she, she held it down. down. Like she held it down. Regardless, it down. regardless of her of imperfection and her flaws. Her imperfection and her flaws. She had to go on the table. She had to go on the table. She had to go on the table. My performances, 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 my I can remember growing up. I can remember I growing up. I wear her. 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 I wear I was exposed um, to more that. So my mother was, was very transparent. So my mother was very transparent. She didn't hide a lot of shit. 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 She didn't hide a and I think she knew. I she think was she knew she was getting ready to pass because just a lot of the energy changed. A lot of the energy changed. Change. I was living yeah. in Atlanta. And I was living in Atlanta. I was, and I was in a dark moment. I was, I was in a dark moment. And a lot of a lot of shit wasn't a lot of, a lot of shit wasn't in Atlanta working. anymore. And I was in Atlanta anymore. And, and I was getting tired of it. And she just kept saying, um. And she just kept saying, come home, son, come home, come on, 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 and I didn't make it work But I think that she was making But I think that she was her. making I think she really, really her. Her. I think she really, really moved um, here. And I'm kind of glad um, And I'm, I'm kind of glad, glad that I didn't make it Because I'm it glad probably, probably, didn't make it because it probably would have fucked me up It would have fucked me up But, but um, me overall She was a very powerful very, I still feel her presence I still feel her presence I still hear her voice um, she talks to me and tells me, boy, calm your ass down. Tells me, boy, calm your ass down. Boy, keep 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 your ass so we definitely want to give honor to Ms. Shirley for the amazing son that she raised, for the amazing children that she raised, for being a woman that she is and was. We definitely give her her flowers, and we definitely show honor and respect to Ms. Shirley. Now, again, we here on the Marcus the Interviewer show, we transparent. So I don't know if I can talk to you a little bit about um, your support and your hard work you're doing in the community, um, not just in the regular community, um, how you a voice and a beacon for the LGBT community. Um, you know, if, you know, if I can talk to you about that. Yeah, you can talk to me about anything. I don't I have anything. To talk to me about I don't have anything. I keep you on. I keep you real. I try to hide. I try to hide. But as far as being a voice for the LGBT, as being a voice for the LGBT, I don't you know boast and brag like oh, no boast and brag like oh, LGBTQI activists or anything like that. I need to my people. 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 I need to my Promo events, I do a lot of help events. I do a lot of help events. A lot of the balls, you know, 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 a lot of the balls, you
with their Brian imagery. Brian Trophy's Corey Dance sponsoring um, certain events. I do a Brian lot of sponsoring. Brian Trophy's Corey Dance sponsoring certain events. I do a lot of sponsoring. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Just providing my platform. 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 Just providing my on the Marcus, the interviewer show again. You know, we're gonna talk, we're gonna keep it real. So, yeah. family, it's a yeah. funny story how I met Benji the Ruler. It really is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny because at the time I didn't want to hear nobody. I had a, I had my ex manager. She was in my ear. I didn't really didn't want to hear nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I I don't remember all what happened, but I do remember I left her house. That's what I remember. You know what I'm saying? Like I was in the state. I have no idea of where I was going. I just left her house. So she came to try to follow me, but I didn't know that she had other people in her vehicle. And, you know, family, I have autism. So my mental is not always, you know, it don't always re register or move right. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my God, I just um, had a flashback. Oh now God, I remember flash too. Now I remember too. Go ahead and finish. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let Benji. I'm gonna let Benji the ruler no, tell you finish, you the story. It. No, you finish, you share it. Because shoot, I don't remember. I got holes. I got holes in my story. So I, I don't remember. But if he remembers, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. Let's let's tell the story. How did we meet Marcus, the interviewer? I don't remember I don't, like. I don't remember like everything, but I'm gonna try to everything, but I'm gonna try to what I do remember. I'll try to share what I do remember. I do remember South by Southwest. Yep. I remember I remember me being producing interviews out there for out there for I'm not gonna say his name, but it's a it's a radio. I'm not gonna say his name, but it's a it's a radio. I'm not gonna say her name either. I'm gonna say her name either. But I was booked to do some interviews. And but I was booked Texas. to do some interviews in Austin, and, Texas. And I remember doing the interviews. I did a lot of interviews. I remember, I remember doing the interviews. I did a lot of interviews. I remember, I remember doing the and. I remember I think, being in Houston. I think either I took a flight or a bus to I that. To either I took or something. I don't a remember. flight or a bus to that. I remember to us 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 making out all night. I remember us making up. I remember us making out all night. Promoting and networking. And I remember at the end of the night, we were all in and the I same car. And I remember at the end of the night, we were all in the same car. Somebody fell out or something happened. Somebody fell out or something happened. Out and the car. It wasn't me, per se. But I think out the car. It wasn't me, per se. But I think something happened. You got out the car. You got out the car. I was and like, let's go back and get him or something. I was like, let's go something back and get him or something. Something. And I remember something getting in the car and saying, no. I remember no. getting in the car and saying, no. Yeah. It was something like that. Something, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. And then, like that. And then, and then kind of um, like, we kind of like, everybody just messed up and everybody just kept messed up. up. We kept the meeting. We kept and the meeting. We kept the meeting. And then from here, we successfully finished the South by Southwest. I remember inviting you to my radio show. I remember inviting you to my radio show. I think it went something like that. I think it went something like that. I think it went something like that, too. But I, I knew that from that night, when you helped me get back in the car, we was locked in. You know what I'm saying? It's family for life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it's it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I knew that he didn't judge my autism. He didn't look no. at me strange or weird because I had autism. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that was very important. You know what I'm saying? So we was we was locked in. We still locked in. You know what I'm saying? And I'm nothing but a call away. I don't care where you at. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? When you get real family members, you know what I'm saying? You hold on. You know what I'm saying? So Benji already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's very that, hard that's it. And I definitely want to give him his flowers. It's very hard to me. 
It's very hard to meet genuine people nowadays. It's very hard to um, meet genuine people nowadays. People um, are so people um, are so um, what, what you can do for them, what you how much money you make, and how much money you make. No, no. Social caliber, tax social bracket, social caliber, you know, tax you know, bracket. You know, you know, and then what you do like you know, you know, you like your flaws or certain disparities, certain shit. They Earth judge you according to that, or they don't want to according to that, or they don't want to have a person I've always accepted. I've always accepted people because I'm not perfect. I have flaws. So I've never been that type of person. I've never been that type of person. And everybody knows me. Everybody knows me. I'm very loving, very nurturing, loving, very nurturing, and I'm very overprotective. And I'm a straight shooter. And I'm a straight shooter. So if some shit ain't right, I'm going to call it out. Like right then and there. There's no way. There's no way. Maybe I should have said something to the side. Like, he know. pulled me to the side plenty of times. Like Marcus, all right, all right. But that's <laughs> but that's what you need. You can't always have a let yes man. You have to have somebody that's gonna get in your ass. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like I appreciate, I appreciate my family. You know what I'm saying? Because he never let me. Like use my autism as an excuse. He always helped me push towards my greatness. You know what I'm saying? So speaking of greatness, so what does Benji the Ruler got coming up next? I know you got like some crazy stuff. Honestly, the only thing that I can like honestly, the only thing that I can like right now is um right now um, is um, um I'm working on my career and I'm um, getting ready to drop my um, blood ready ready to drop video. my blood they um, video. And um, I, I and landed a contract. I landed a contract in Mexico with a major TV production with a major TV production company. Out here working with them right now. In the process of signing that in contract, in the process of signing that contract, I wanted to pause it. I wanted to pause it. I wanted it to honor the position. I wanted to honor the position. that, I decided to. That, I decided um, to um, pay for Spanish pay classes. For Spanish classes. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of on pause. I'm kind of on pause while I learn the Spanish language. While I learn the Spanish language. Culture. Culture. I want to respect the land. So what advice would would Benji the ruler give somebody who wants to be the next Benji the ruler? Somebody who wants to, you know, do the type of work you do. Somebody that, you know, sees you out here blossoming moving and stuff and you know wants to wants to work in your shoes man the only thing i can say man the only real, thing i can say for real for real go hard go hard go hard to go home go hard to go home go hard do not go hard. stop do not stop don't play with it don't, don't fake, fake, with people. Don't fake don't with people don't don't play like this is what you want and it really this ain't you want and it really ain't, ain't. So go hard. So go hard. Or go hard. The only advice that I can give you. The advice that I can give you. I had to do. I had to do in the position that I'm in now. In the position that I'm in now. So I gotta go even harder now. So I gotta go even harder now. So I can go harder. So I can go harder. I can have a different caliber. I can have a different caliber. I not just the United States. You know, so, so, so you said you speak you speak French and you take taking Spanish. So my yeah, family wanted to hear a little something. I took French I took French I took French I took took French I took French I took French um, parlez-vous français? Uh, um, parlez-vous français? Um, mon anniversaire, I just said my birthday is July. I just said my birthday is July the 9th. Oh, whatever he said, that yeah, that that way he said <laughs> that way. So, we know any Spanish. 
Si poquito español. Si poquito oh. español. That means, yes, I speak a little that bit of Spanish. That means, yes, I speak a little my bit of Spanish. My mom's still learning. My mom's still um, learning. Um, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, cinco, dos, tres, seis, cuatro, siete, siete, cinco, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Ocho, nueve, diez. Ocho, nueve, diez. <laughs> Oh, millones, 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 millones. So let me ask you another question. Yes. Because I've been telling my family that you're a dope artist, you're a dope writer, and stuff like that. Is there a way that we can hear 16 to come from the legend himself? Uh yeah, I'll do it. Uh, uh yeah, I'll do it. I'll do a freestyle or read it. Freestyle or read it. Whatever you feel comfortable with, Legend. Whatever you feel. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You know I'm ready to go. You know I'm After ready I'm to go. Here to go. After I'm done here to go. 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 I'm Contact you at how can they get in touch? Where can they find you? All that wonderful stuff. Um, they just um, deleted my they just deleted uh, my, uh, my main account, my, my main artist account, account, my artist account. So, so basically, the, the best basically way to contact the best me way is to my website, website, is through my website all of my videos, all of my videos, bio, most of my videos, my videos, my radio show, my radio show, my Instagram, my you can Google me. You can Google me. the rule of Google the real right show. Google the, Google the real um, right show. Um, yeah. Yeah. For booking inquiries, so, you can email me. 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 You well, this has been an amazing interview. I want to thank the legend, the icon, the iconic Benji the Ruler for coming through, for gracing this platform, for letting you know, giving you some wisdoms and nuggets. You know what I mean? Again, we want to big up Miss Shirley, you know what I mean, for the amazing job she's done for her family and for the amazing job she's done with her son. And to the next buffet line, to the next 12-inch Subway sandwich, you already know what we do. We're going to leave in like we got started.
Hey yo. What's up, hey, yo. Yo, this is the What's one, up, bro. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is the What's one, good? bro. Oh, yeah. Telling you, man, What's good? That, that I am Marcus telling you, man, that, that, that cat Marcus Boyd. Yeah, you know this the interview. Yeah, I know that cat. Yeah, this is the one, bro. Okay. Okay. This, this is the one, bro. Okay. This is the one, bro. Even if you want. No matter what the conversation, he's already prepared. No matter the conversation, he's already prepared. 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 He's already pr